I again, today I'm gonna do, find the X and the Y intercept of the log equation and also find the inverse. So the X and the Y intercept, we're just gonna find the Y intercept first. And the Y intercept just make X zero, so Y equals log base two zero plus four minus one. Now what this becomes, it becomes log base two four minus one. Now you know log base two four, what it's really telling you, it's asking you two to the power of what is four. So all of this is basically two to the power of what is four. So what it's two. So, so log base two four equals two, two minus one is one. So the y intercept for this will be one. How about the x intercept? The x intercept, you do the opposite, you make y zero and you get log base two x plus four minus one. Now the first thing you need to do is move the negative one to the other side. So you get positive one equals log base two x plus four. Now here, what you wanna do, you wanna change this from, from log, logarithmic form to exponential form. And how that goes is basically, this is your base. So always it's this to the power of whatever is on the other side of the equal sign. So it's two to the power of this equals all of this. So that will give me um, two to the one equals x plus four and two to the one is two. And then the four on the side. So just gonna be two minus four, which is negative two. So the x intercept equals negative two. Now, how about the inverse? The inverse, as you know, when you're doing the inverse, all you need to do is just change x to y and y to x and solve it again for y. So the inverse simply you change the y right here to x and the x right here to y, so log base two y plus four minus one. Now to s we need to solve this for y. So ultimately we have to go and get rid of the log. To get rid of the log, we have to do a few steps here. So the first thing I need to do is move the negative one to this side and I get x plus one equals log base two y plus four. Always if you wanna change from logarithmic to exponential, we do the same thing that we did here. It's always, the, this is the base of the log. It becomes the base of the exponent, exponential function. So two to the power of the, whatever is on the other side of the equal sign equals from here as a matter of fact. So two to the power of this would equal that. The same thing here, two to the power of whatever is on the other side of the equal sign. So two to the power of x plus one equals this what you log in, which is y plus four. And therefore, this is move the four to the other side. So it becomes y equals two to the power of x plus one minus four. And that's the inverse. Usually we represent the inverse as f to the negative one of x equals two to the x plus one minus four. So what's unique about this is if you know the x-intercept and the y-intercept, if you needed to graph this, or they ask you to graph this, so it's simply just, you know, your x-intercept is at negative two. And the y-intercept at one. Now, you see this thing here has a vertical asymptote, so log functions have vertical asymptotes and your asymptote would be at x equals negative four. So whatever makes that zero. And so this thing moved, the asymptote moved right here. 
and therefore my log function looks like this. And that's it. That's basically how you deal with the inverse x and the y intercept of a log equation. As always, thank you for watching again. Bye bye.